Okay, so how are we going to use the Excel spreadsheet you've got to fit containers and quadratics? Okay, so first of all, I will open up the Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so I will open up the spreadsheet. Here it is, so just double click it. Okay, so let's open this up. So here's the spreadsheet you get, and you enter in your x values here, and your y values here, and I've got some already. The rest gets done automatically for you. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to basically visualize what this looks like. So I'm going to go insert chart. Do that by a highlight I want to look at, and I'm going to choose the scatter one, and I want the one with the straight lines. And you see that's done my lines. And it's done quite a good job. What it's done is it's taking the X points and put them along here. And then for each of these rows, the Y one is the blue line. So you can see I've got a curve there. But the values of the fitted quadratic, which is this is the red one. And the fitted catenary is the green one is using these values here. And you can change these. I can go to, and it changes it automatically. So the, this one I can change to two. Let's straight up a little bit. Let's try 0.5, etc. It changes it around and moves it. Um, what I want to do is I want to find the best values of A, B, C for the quadratic, and C1, C2, and lambda for the catenary to fit that blue line. And I could change, but I try changing these values by hand, but instead I can use solver. So you go tools, solver. Now if solver doesn't appear, you have to go tools, add-ins, and when you choose that, you then highlight and click OK. That's already done on mine. So tools, solver. It opens this dialog box. So first of all, the objective. So. What this column here is, is it's the squared difference between the quadratic and the y's. So if we look at this value here, let me just close this down for a second. This value here is this value minus this value squared. Again, this one is the same as this value minus this value. So I've looked at the squared distance, and then all I've done is this, adds them all up, it just takes the sum of that. So what I'm going to do is I want to get this as small as possible by changing these values. So tools, solver. We'll use solver to do it. So if I go solver, so first I need to set an objective. So I'm going to click this one. I want it to be minimized. I'm going to do the variables. I'm going to change my quadratic variables, which are these. So I click and select them. And we need to put in some constraints. So I'm going to assume that all these values are going to lie between plus and minus 10. So the first one, add. I'm going to say this one has to be less than or equal to 10. Add another one. I also want this one to be greater than or equal to minus 10. I'm going to repeat that again. So click add another one. I want the B to be less than or equal to 10. Add another one. I'm going to have the C less than or equal to 10. Add another one. I want the B to be greater than or equal to minus 10. And finally, add. I want the C one to be greater than or equal to minus 10. Click OK. So we've got F1, which is this number here. That's got to be less than or equal to 10 or greater than or equal to minus 10. F2 has to be less than or equal to 10 or greater than or equal to minus 10. And F3 less than 10. So I've put constraints on all of these. I've got the minimum. This is what I'm going to try and make as small as possible, which is this one, by changing these cells, by changing these. Make unconstrained variables non-negative. I can just leave that as it is. We'll try that. I'm going to try the default one, which is the GRC nonlinear. And I'll click Solve. Wait, and it starts flicking around. 
So you saw it tried some various ones and it's come up with that one, Keat Solver Solutions, okay. We go here, it's saying the best fit is a quadratic with minus 0.7, B is 2.79 and C is 0.33454545. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.